We already know that Yvette Ariano and Mohamed Abdelhaim's breakup drama is far from over. Mohamed cheated. His texts also make it clear that he conspired to use I for a green card at any cost. That is why many 90 Day Fiancé fans are so skeptical of Mohamed's accusation that I've battered him. Still, authorities charged her. This week, she appeared in court for a pre-trial hearing. In Touch Weekly reports that Ivariano appeared virtually in Albuquerque Metropolitan Court. The hearing took place on Tuesday, September 6. The pre-trial conference is scheduled for October 4. I've entered a not guilty plea. According to the police report, Mohammed accused Ive of physically grappling with him while trying to seize his phone. Allegedly, this led to her leg pressing against his neck during the scuffle. That should of course never happen, especially between partners. But Mohammed has created circumstances that make people question his story. Ive's rep confirmed to In Touch Weekly that, Ive, pleased, not guilty. Her rep previously described the allegation of domestic battery as falsified by Mohammed. While that is a common response to any kind of abuse accusation, Mohammed himself laid the groundwork for it. Mohammed's texts leaked in late July. Click on the bell icon to stay up to date on my new videos. He later admitted, on screen, that they were authentic. The biggest news at the time was that Mohammed was flagrantly cheating on Ive and insulting her to his mistress. He and his side piece also made plans that he would wait to leave Ive until he had his green card. But the item of most interest to Ive's team and to her fans is Mohammed's contingency plan in case Ive discovered his affair. Mohammed and the woman he has been cheating on Ive with have discussed his options from the very beginning, her rep noted last month. They specifically discussed a U-Visa, the rep added, and how Mohammed could qualify for this. Ives' rep explained that this was, just in case Ives found out about his indiscretions. A U-Visa exists to provide legal status to people who are victims of crimes. Simply put, it prevents a criminal from threatening their victims with deportation. It allows victims of crimes to come forward and cooperate with law enforcement. Mohammed allegedly planned to misuse this to remain in the US, something that he once claimed was never his goal. Certainly, the texts predate the alleged incident that he reported to law enforcement, since the alleged scuffle was a response to Mohammed's cheating texts. We would be remiss if we did not mention something. It is possible for dishonest people to also become victims of domestic violence. Someone could conspire to fabricate abuse, only for an unforeseen incident to make those claims a reality. And you'd have to be pretty darn stupid to file a false police report after putting your plot in writing, right? But... Do people think that Mohammed is especially bright or clever? Viewers do not tend to see him that way. Hopefully, the court will see the truth of this matter. Whatever that may be.